Welcome to my office. As you can see, it needs cleaning, but oh well. So we're going to talk about continental drift right now. Continental drift is an idea that goes back at least to the beginning of the 20th century. <clears throat> we usually attribute it to Alfred Wegener, who you can read about a little bit more in the book. And one of the things that he noticed that lots of people noticed if they looked at a map or a globe of the earth is that the fit of the continents is suspicious. So here we have Africa. And over here, we have South America. And if you look carefully, this bit over here of South America looks like it could snug up right next to that part of Africa. It looks as though they're puzzle pieces that have been pulled apart. Now, that by itself is not enough proof to say that South America and Africa were once joined. But we find that there are fossils of the same creatures that lived at the same times on both of those continents. Now, did they create boats and sail across the Atlantic? Well, that makes absolutely no sense. It only makes sense if Africa and South America were once joined, if the Atlantic Ocean did not exist. Also, for any of you who've hiked the Appalachian Trail, you know that those are a magnificent range of mountains. And if you've ever been fortunate enough to go to Scandinavia or in the Highlands of Scotland, believe it or not, you have hiked the same range of mountains, mountains of the same type, of the same age. Now, could there just spontaneously be two groups of mountains of the same type separated by a huge ocean? Again, doesn't make a lot of sense. But if those continents were joined at the time the mountain range formed, well, it makes a whole lot more sense. And afterwards, when the continents were pulled apart, the mountain ranges were pulled apart in different pieces as well. Also, if we look at climate data from around the world in the rock record, we can see, for example, that there are fossil palm trees in Alaska. And given where Alaska is right now, that makes absolutely no sense. But if Alaska were once closer to the equator because the continents have shifted, again, makes a whole lot of sense. So the idea of continental drift was based on the idea that there were these puzzles in the natural environment that can't be explained by where the continents are today. They can, however, be explained where the continents might have been millions of years ago if they were joined together in just the right way.